Ys. The Ys series is definitely one of my favorite RPG action series, and while some people had the luxury of being introduced to the first Ys games by playing them on the PC-88, Master System, or the TurboGrafx CD attachment, my first experience wouldn't be till much later, when I rented Wanderers from Ys, the third game in the series, on the SNES. Even though it was hailed as the black sheep of the series for being much like Zelda 2, I really enjoyed the story, characters, and the gameplay. When I would finally get my hands on a Turbo Duo, one of my first purchases for the system was East 1, 2, 3, and a few years later, I would pick up East 4. That brings us to East 5, Kingdom of Sand that was released in Japan in 1995 by Falcom internally, unlike East 4. Falcom's plan for this installment of the series was to make the series involve yet again, take the overhead action of East 1, 2, and 4, and combine them with the jumping and slashing action from East 3, the end result becomes East 5. While this may sound enticing to some, these mechanics are thrust into a very generic world with a lackluster storyline that really doesn't pick up until the very end of the game. When you think of East, you think of breathtaking 2D visuals, great character art, and melodic music in almost every area of the game. While East 5 does have some great music tracks in it, it lacks the diversity that the series has shown previously in almost all aspects. I have to wonder if Falcom played Brain Lord, a game by Enoch that was released early the previous year before. Maybe my mind is just a little fuzzy, but East 5 seemed to have much more in common with that game than it does the previous games in its own heritage. That doesn't necessarily make East 5 a bad game, it's just incredibly average, especially considering when games like Terranigma came out the same year in Japan. The most disappointing part of the game by far is how easy it is. Forget feeling like you need to grind your levels in this game, as most bosses can easily be defeated due to their extremely predictable patterns. Chances are if you have a healing potion on hand, you'll easily be able to beat a boss. The last boss in the game is embarrassingly easy and is defeated by a few rapid jumps and slashes while you just soak up his incredibly weak attacks. This game is so easy that Falcom themselves released a harder version of the game called East 5 Expert, which obviously made the game harder and added an extra dungeon to fight in. East 5 never came to the United States, but was made playable in English thanks to a fan translation of the game. If you're a huge fan of the East series, then you might as well give this game a try as it won't take you very long to get through. Otherwise, give this game a pass as you're not really missing much, which is a shame considering how great of a game this could have been. I'm Mike Murtis for GamerLogic. Thanks for watching.